Okay, today we have another beer in our series of beer reviews for St. Bernardus Brewery out in Belgium, West Flanders, Belgium to be exact. Now we did uh, two doubles earlier, this is our third review, and today we're going to be reviewing their Abbey Triple, which pretty simply titled St. Bernardus Triple. They don't go fancy on this one as far as uh, the title goes. And as I mentioned earlier, every bottle from St. Bernardus basically has the same logo. It's a monk who's smiling with a goblet in his hand full of beer, and the only difference between bottles are the colors. The Abbey Triple happens to be green, uh, and this is 8.0% uh, alcohol by volume. A little bit on the uh, lighter end as far as alcohol uh, goes for a triple. Of course, we did Golden Monkey that had about 9.5, 9.7, that area. Um, some of the other famous triples, La Fin du Monde, which is uh, unibrow, um, this, uh, the brewery, they're about nine or so uh, as well. Um, this one, Pure Abbey Belgian Triple. So very uh, looking forward to trying this. We'll see if it pours out that light color that we're used to uh, seeing with the triples, that golden kind of color as we pour it into our St. Bernardus Chalice. And it is a very golden uh, color as predicted. As you can see, a nice fluffy, uh, frothy white head on it. Very, very golden. Now, this is the kind of beer that you would expect, the kind of look that you would expect from a uh, triple. And uh, looking forward to the aroma of this. I'm thinking maybe it's going to be a very fruity kind of um, beer, which basically triples can be. So let's grab a whiff of it right now. Ah, yeah, I'm definitely getting that, that kind of same kind of feeling I got from Golden Monkey. This is a little bit more of a refined kind of uh, scent. A very, very uh, aromatic, very spicy, extremely spicy. Um, almost cinnamon-like, uh, maybe a little bit of ginger thrown in there as well. It's just a very full a kind of uh, aromatic beer. I'm looking very forward to trying this. Let's swish it around a little bit and see how the alcohol kind of sticks on the glass and it does as you can see the froth kind of still kind of sticks on and there's very syrupy kind of a drop down here as you might be able to see so this is just a, all in all just a very very complex kind of kind of beer you can tell right away the head's not really dissipating too much still kind of a white froth there's no uh, separation of the head from the body it's it's kind of just sticking there right now this is about a minute after I poured it so you can tell it's a very well brewed, so let's try it right now. Wow. I'll tell you what, as soon as it hits the tongue, it tastes like most triples that I've had. It actually tastes, uh, you know, like the cinnamon, cinnamon kind of uh, spicy kind of taste to it. And then when it filters to the back of the throat, to me, it kind of dissipates a little bit into a, a whole new area, almost a malt kind of area, which is just a strange sensation. Let me try it again. You know what? It just does. It doesn't have a harsh aftertaste. It has a very, very light kind of bodied aftertaste when it hits you right up front with the spices, and then it kind of goes back uh, into the throat. It makes it. It makes it a very, very drinkable. Triple. This is uh, not not to say that Golden Monkey or uh, La Fin du Monde are not drinkable triples. They they are very much so. I love Golden Monkey. Love Golden Monkey for for years and years. However, this one uh, I believe basically is probably the best triple that I could ever have that I that I ever had that I could think of uh, at least. And I'm sure there are others out there that I may or may not like more or less. Uh, but this one is a great, great representation of the style of beer. I mean, come on, it's from Belgium, so you know it's going to be a great representation of the, at least the style as a Belgian triple. And uh, I would have to give St. Bernardus triple, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10.